did have a boyfriend once. He was fabulous. He was so romantic. He did the best things. Unfortunately, it turned out he was a gigolo. I'm not kidding. He, he would turn up and he would book me into a hotel room and I would turn up and there would be an amazing little present that something I'd seen at a market the week before and liked and he'd bought it with only like a three dollar trinket and it would be wrapped up on the bed with a note go into the next room I'd go into the next room and there'd be some perfume which I later found out belonged to another woman um, but that didn't matter at the time because at the time I was fully convinced and then the bath would be running and then there'd be a go to the cupboard there was a suit also belonged to another woman, a Chanel suit, but it didn't really matter at the time. Um, afterwards, you know, when the women turned up outside very angry, that's when it did matter. But at the time, it was a very romantic gesture. Welcome back to Brain Date, where Kane and Ben have been streaking ahead on four points, but in general, there's been a lot of love in the room. So we'll move on to the second round. And in this round, what we're going to do is give the contestants a word. One of the contestants writes down that word, and then the other contestants take it in turns saying an answer until somebody scores a match. The first contestant to write the word is Kane, and the word is ice. We'll start with Andrew, and what word do you think of when you hear ice? Wet. Bears. Cream. Cold. Water. There we go. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Josh and Kane match with water there. And we'll move on for the next game in this round. And this time Ben is going to be writing and the other contestants guessing. And the word this time is bang. All right, and this time we're going to start with Josh. What's the word you think of when you hear bang? Backfire. Gun. Fireworks. Owl. Shag. Bedroom. Yeah, bedroom. <laughs> uh, loud. Lights. Yeah. Explosion. <laughs> I think they've run out of bang, haven't they? <laughs> ben, what did you write for bang? Uh, I wrote big. So Ben gets no matches there, but we'll move on to the next game in this round. And this time, Andrew's going to be writing and the other contestants guessing. And the word is wet. We'll start with Kane this time. What's the first word you think of when you hear wet? Dreams. <laughs> Stuff. Water. <laughs> Not one else. Lube. Uh, the ocean. <laughs> Beach. Bedroom. Rivers. Sand. Beach. <laughs> oh, no, another wet effort from the guesses. No good again. Andrew? No, I had rain. Um, rain is wet. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows what rain is anymore. <laughs> no, of course not. We haven't had it here. It's a thing of the past. So again, no matches there, and that brings us to the final game in this round, and Josh is going to be writing, and the rest of the contestants guessing. And the word this time is camp. So we're going to be starting with Ben this time. What's the first word you think of when you hear the word camp? Tense. Feathers. Camping. <laughs> Field. Gay. A really queenie man. <laughs> Row of tents. Pass. I'm out. <laughs> Feathers. Musicals. The same. <laughs> well, there, no matches again. But Josh, what did you write for Cam? I wrote Mardi Gras, actually. That's how. Uh, that's what Mardi Gras was called before it was Mardi Gras. That brings us to the end of the second round, and we had no further matches there, really. So that still leaves Ben and Kane out the front. And we'll see you back for round three on Brain Date. I think you should really enjoy um, breaking up, because I think that there is such enjoyment. It's fantastic being dumped, being dumped. 
you've got to rethink it. It's called reframing your experience. When you get dumped, you should enjoy it because if you haven't been dumped, you are not a very nice person. People who haven't been dumped make lousy partners terrible because they haven't suffered that cruelest blow to the esteem of being left lower lower than low sobbing into the carpet drinking red wine listening to carol king go <laughs> ringing up and going why don't you love me <laughs> that's the best